10 years old. Um, I started in school band. And I remember I, 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 did, I did such a nice job right off the bat that I was playing a solo about a year into it already at a school assembly. <laughs> and so that got me pretty excited. Yeah. <laughs> On the snare drum. Uh, nope, Austin, Minnesota. Oh, Minneapolis. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, work. Yeah, I went to school in Iowa and then taught in Missouri a little bit. And uh, and I just like the climate here in Wisconsin. And this was uh, one of my first jobs was in Arcadia. Oh, we've, we had some nice concerts. I mean, I suppose my favorite one is we, uh, Tammy Fisher and Rich McDonald and myself, we had to do a, a percussion concerto by, written by Russell Peck. And uh, that was a pretty extensive work. It had three movements. And anyway, that was a really fun piece to do. Probably back 15 years ago, I suppose. I think since the middle 90s. Okay. But I even played a little bit when I was at Luther College in the late 70s. I don't. It probably had a triangle ding in it, though, I would guess. <laughs> Maybe a cymbal crash. Uh, the band you're about to hear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the Cooley Region Steel Band, a 10-piece group. And we rehearse on Monday nights. And uh, we've had a number of gigs this summer, luckily, because a, a lot of musicians have really been dry on gigs. And we've been a little drier than usual, but... We still kind of had our regular monthly freight house gig, along with a couple of other things as well, Omaro. And so, anyway, yeah. Back in about 2000, when I was teaching at Alaska High School, I was teaching high school band there for about 20 years. Um, I wrote a grant, and uh, well, and actually, it started with a show choir with Paul Gulsvig because the show choir was going to do a Caribbean show. And so they got some steel drums to look cool. And when, when they were done with the show that year, I'm like, Paul, what are you going to do with those? And he's just like, I don't want them. So, so anyway, I inherited them and then started writing grants and uh, getting more pans. And then once I left the school district, I wrote some more grants because I had started a community group. And, um, and, and we got more pans yet. So And some people have supported me, like Dick Record, across community foundation um, there's a lawyer friend of mine that helped me with some of that in town and yeah I've been the, the leading the steel band since also let's see I think 2010 okay. was the year so this is like our 10th 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary yeah very nice celebrated yeah. with the pandemic we like to play like on the concert stage like at the new band show we would love to play there and we have before it's been a while and we've played on the Holman concert series. On Alaska just started a concert series a summer or two ago uh, down by David Ray's there in the, in the park. Um, we've played on that before. So that's mostly what we like to do is play on those little concert series. Uh, I think it was 95 or so. Okay. And uh, like I say, I played a little bit with them before that, but pretty steady since then. That's when I started, that's when I started working in the Alaska district. Well, let's see if it would be pre or post pandemic. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty busy. I've been doing, I have a long term sub coming up in the La Crosse School District teaching music. So that's going to be nice because uh, it's been, you know, since the pandemic hit. Um, but yeah, then typically once the school year go, gets going, I teach at SSE Music on uh, Mondays and Thursdays. And I direct a bell choir at First Lutheran Church on Tuesdays, and I direct two bell choirs at English Lutheran on Wednesdays. Um, I kind of leave the weekends open for gigs. I do. I play in a praise band every week at First Lutheran and on Alaska as well. We have a really nice praise band with we got a subwoofer and in-ear monitors and all kinds of fancy stuff. And, it's a very nice group to play with. It gets very tricky. Last summer, the uh, sailboat club wanted to play for their party that we had played for a couple years before, and it was a great party, but we already had another gig book, so that, that happens once in a while, and then that's tough, but there's always the next year, you know, so. The freight house, I have to say. <laughs> I like piggies, too. <laughs> Any place that will hire the Cooley Region Steel Band. <laughs> Or, and I also, the first hour I play a solo, a little solo thing too. I sing and play solo steel pan. Uh, 
and that's the kind of the warm up hour, and then the next couple hours the big group plays. So, well, you have to wear a lot of hats, and you have to be really flexible and willing to try almost anything. Um, because another thing I really got into is, is handbells. So I took, two summers ago, I took the lacrosse bell choir to France and Germany. And that was an awesome trip. We played four concerts over there, and it was just a fantastic trip. So I'm trying to line that up again with our sister cities in Ireland and Norway for maybe next summer or the summer after. And we'll see how that shakes out. And then there's this uh, a Cooley Region Steel Band, or I mean, uh, Cooley Region High School Jazz All-Stars. It's a high school group of the 20 best uh, jazz students in the lacrosse area. And I've directed that for 15 years as well. And that was kind of tough to not do that this summer. Um, so I'm really hoping to do that again next summer. People, uh, we have different sponsors that support scholarships for the students. And uh, it's just a fantastic group. Our, our motto is three rehearsals and three gigs, because that's what we do. It's all done in a week. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're great kids. Well, it should be nice if when this steel band kind of hit the big time, because it, it's everyone in the group is a musician, and we've had some really excellent rehearsals this summer. So we've got some really kind of challenging things that we do now, which we haven't really in the past. And the group's just sounding better than ever, so. Mm -hmm.